My next recipe is the perfect healthy alternative to get the party started. So we're gonna create some homemade, I'm gonna call them corn chips, but these are black rice chips to go on our platter. Really, really simple. We're just going to slice these into kind of rough triangles. Just big enough for one or two mouthfuls. Beautiful. Into our bowl. And we're going a little bit Mexican with today's recipe. I'm using some peas and avocado to make a spicy guacamole. So I'm going to add some cumin onto our black rice wraps. About a teaspoon, some olive oil. It's gonna help crisp up our chips in the oven. And a pinch of sea salt to help bring out the beautiful citrus notes in that cumin. Really easy, give it a toss, clean hands. Onto our tray and just spread them out into one layer. And these are gonna go into the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes till they're beautiful and crispy and you can smell that cumin fragrance in your kitchen. Pop them in the oven. Okay, now onto that green pea guacamole I told you about. Don't know anyone that doesn't love avocados or guacamole. So today we're just going to boost this up a little bit with some frozen peas, believe it or not. Now frozen peas add a lovely sweetness to this. It's a great way of getting some more vegetables into our dip. I guess also if you're entertaining, they're a little bit cheaper than avocados as well. So it's a little bit sneaky. It's a way of bulking out your guacamole as well, much cheaper than doing all avocados. Really, really easily, just going to slice our avocados in half. So beautiful and creamy. We know they're full of good fats. So I've got three avocados here. Scoop the flesh out into our food processor. Okay, avocado flesh is in the blender, super easy. I've got a cup of green peas here. I've just blanched them in some hot water. Now I'll keep a few back. I like to decorate the top of the guacamole with a few peas just to kind of let everyone know that they're in there. So we'll set them aside. Got a clove of garlic straight into the blender. I've also got a lime. The lime is gonna stop our avocado from going brown if it's sitting out for a little bit on the table waiting for your guests to get there. About two tablespoons of lime juice. Always need a pinch of salt. I'm gonna spice this up a little bit. We've got a jalapeno here. I will remove the seeds, and I find the best way to do that is just with a teaspoon. So slice it down the center and just scrape out the seeds. Generally, that's where all the heat is. And just give these a rough chop up. They're gonna go into the blender, so the blender will do all the hard work for us. Green jalapeno in the blender. Right, that's all our guacamole ingredients in. Get the lid on the blender, hit the button. Okay, great, that looks nicely blended. I've got some sunflower seeds here and we're just gonna toast these to give a bit of texture to the top of our dip. They'll take about two minutes just to toast up and get a nice golden color on the outside. Right, our sunflower seeds are toasted, smell delicious. Now you might see I've got some gorgeous fresh vegetables over here and you probably don't associate carrots and radishes and fennel with entertaining. These things look gorgeous on platters when people come over to your house. They're healthy for you and they're really crunchy and they're great to eat with our guacamole dip that we've made. So I'm just gonna slice these up and pop them onto our platter, ready for our dip and our beautiful black chips that are in the oven. Okay, our black rice chips. Beautiful and crispy. I can smell that cumin through the kitchen. Fantastic, they were in there for about 15 minutes. We'll let them cool slightly while I plate up our green pea guacamole. Those peas that I reserved earlier just to garnish the top of our dip. Our crispy sunflower seeds. And just because it is Mexican, I've got a few coriander leaves. Coriander on. Those black rice chips. Gorgeous and crispy, a little bit of spice. Pop them onto our platter. Simple as that. Really, really vibrant, beautiful, fresh colours and a great excuse for a healthy chip and dip.